And now I shall put on my shoes ah, ah, to take a stroll on the wild side. The wild side of the mean streets of Los Angeles, California in the second decade of the 21st century. With cars going this way, zoom, pickup trucks going that way, zoom, and SUVs headed right at me as I try to cross the street. Uh, uh, I've got degenerative joint disease, aka severe osteoarthritis. Not much fun. Movement becomes uh, as much a challenge as a pleasure. However, there's only one way to go, and that's forward. That's what makes us boomers great. Actually, I'm joking. A lot of boomers are totally sucky, selfish, self-centered, little picture whiners who, who are fussy if the wine isn't just right or if they have to separate their recycling. They seem to think they've got a right to endless stuff, endless energy, no matter what the cost. We're doing what we can to reduce our carbon footprint, something most people aren't willing to do. We're going to put some shades on the window for what looks like to be a hot summer. In the meantime, we run fans, and we do one other thing that people really should do. It's not prurient, it's practical. We take all our clothes off, don't we, sweetie? Yes, we do. We hang we out in our... Oh, right, right. this is my new wife, Christina. <laughs> Being a little self-centric here. <laughs> We just got married on the day before my birthday two weeks ago. Now we're going to go out and fry some bigger fish. This is an excellent piece of aleatory and temporary art. A tree shadow which creates a nice flat two-dimensional two graphic. These should be inscribed into the pavement. There's a public art form. Then when the trees die, at least their shadows and forms will stay with us in our shared environment. Looks like another baby boomer trying to relive their mid-century youth. Imagine getting their identity through an automobile. That is so American. Public transportation is a great value, economically, environmentally, and in terms of safety and comfort. And yet, how many people do you see riding this bus? One. Only one other passenger. These things are even cooling centers. Right now the temperature outside is above 100 degrees in the San Fernando Valley. Probably a record setting day for May. As we destroy our planet with fossil fuel emissions, why wouldn't more people get out of their damp cars and get in the biggest car of all? This one, Metro Bus Line 155 in this case. A great way to go. Metro. But Americans are too DF to use it. It's like Let's do less while polluting more. Boy, there's a great idea. And boomers are worse than anybody. I see fewer boomers on the bus than any other generation. They're still pretending that they need to get in their cars to go 500 yards or to their mailbox. Oh, I'm a boomer. I can't go walking anywhere. That's on America. And they wonder why uh, they're getting fat, diabetic why their carbon footprint is twice that of Europe. Where people live better lives, by the way. We keep hearing Republicans say, oh, Americans don't want to be like a European-style socialist country. Yeah, like hell we don't want to. Well, this is either a terrible example of littering or this is somebody's home. Actually, I think this is probably somebody's home. Some people are so destitute in this country that they actually... Oh, look at that. Now that's an example of speeding... Oh my God, this place sucks! This place sucks! Hey, what's this? Environmental commitment. More environmental commitment. It's all over the place. Look at this. Environmental commitment. Environmental commitment. Here we have.
have another example of aleatory art. We have here the roof of a geodesic dome covered with foliage and flowers. And then up here, a tower, or perhaps a cathedral. Or, if we go a little bit further, I think we've got something pornographic. And, depending on your taste and point of view, that might be the best part of all. I'm a big picture guy. I'm interested in the large issues of our time, the challenges facing society, the defects in our polity, and the sins that are in our souls as we continue to live our comfortable, noisy, carbon-intensive lives, constantly and continuously ratcheting up the temperature. One thing that any American can do, especially if they live near a river or the ocean, or any body of water, is pick up the damn plastic crap on the ground and trash it. It's not asking too much to take a moment to do that and save some poor seal, walrus, seabird, or other creature of the deep the agony and the death that comes from ingesting this crap that we use once and then let it just float away. 99 degrees, how hot does it need to be before people will come to see that we're destroying our atmosphere, our ocean, and our planet. And the result's going to be a sorry kettle of fish for everyone. But especially for the poorer people and the poorer countries, and especially the people ever further in the future. We're trashing the best planet in the uh, Milky Way galaxy for the sake of a one or two generations. The boomers are at the heart of that. And their parents, the greatest generation who set up this carbon party, and their parents, and uh, the much vaunted Xers and Yers, the millennials. Well, it's going to be their millennium. The 1980s were supposed to be the me decade. Well, now we've got the millennium, and it's just getting hotter. Oh, there it is. 100 degrees. Yo! And that's just a forebear of things to come. Like Winston Churchill said, after they've tried every other solution, Americans will finally get to the right one. Well, we're still not there. Women more than men <clears throat> use uh, live by sustainable life practices. More likely to use the bus, less likely to drive a pickup truck, not as interested in guns, don't fly planes as often, don't commit crimes as often, don't rob banks as often, don't go to jail as often. Official proposal dump the male gender. Anything less, we might not save our Earth. A future humanity that is all female is a humanity that will not destroy the Earth by nuclear bombs, carbon pollution, or overpopulation. It will be a totally stable population when you've reduced uh, men to a test tube. Of course, some men will get to last longer than that. They will be kept around, like me, for example. I mean, come on, I came up with this great idea. I get to enjoy the 99.99% uh, .99 female world. As an environmentalist, I will look for green wherever I can find it. For example, take this oasis in the city, a place where nature rules. Part of dealing with the stress of life in the city when you've been down so long, it looks like up. Now here goes a resonator. That's a total example of what sucks about the American junkscape, the American hardscape, the cityscape, where we have to live listening constantly to other people's recreational noise. It's like people's lives have become so small, they just have to express themselves with, with gratuitous noise making like that, instead of getting active with their uh, local representatives and uh, legislators, whose names they generally don't even know, to, to, to lobby for stuff like a more equitable distribution of wealth, which would help their lives, help the country, help the environment, and help the future. In other words, a win-win-win solution. But instead we get the lose-lose situation, because we live in America, which really should be called America-can't. 
And the reason it should be called Americant is because of the Republicant Party. And here goes another pickup truck. Nothing like using industrial scale vehicles for personal transportation. Power failures. And the lights go out, just like some of those light bulbs on that sign that are already uh, blinked out, like the human enterprise itself is in danger of doing. Now that we live in the world of 100 degrees and climbing, it's a type of progress that is regress, and it sucks.